Alrighty, uh, save your file and we'll keep going here. We're going to do the lightning bolt next. The uh, Pathfinder palette is open on your workspace. You can close it if you want to because <clears throat> we won't be using it again for this exercise. Um, <clears throat> first things first, uh, make sure that uh, we're back to the default stroke and fill setting. So over here, um, left side of your workspace, choose default stroke and fill. Bring the white fill <clears throat> to the forefront, hit the red slash. Okay, so now we're back to normal life. We have a black stroke, no fill, which is what we want. So we're going to work with the, uh, the lighting bolt here. And I recommend using the magnifying glass tool um, to zoom in on this one. So come over here, the very bottom of your tool palette, the zoom tool, and just hover over the lighting bolt and click a couple times. Remember if you get lost or if you like over zoom or whatever, command or control zero. Command or control zero will center your uh, your image. Okay, so uh, if you get too zealous with the uh, if you lose your image, just do a command or control zero and you're back. Okay, so get get it so your um, your lightning bolt is a nice filling the uh, the space here. Now the workflow we're going to use here is we're going to rough this in um, with just jagged uh, angular edges, and then we're going to use the anchor point tool to get these nice curves. So let's just take a look at this for a minute here first. Um, like here, right here, we have like this very sharp curve. I mean, this extra, or, I, not sharp curve, you know, this very sharp angle and then a curve. Okay, uh, likewise, this is pretty sharp and then a curve. So the anchor point tool will help us a lot. So I suggest you use this work flow that I'm going to show you instead of just trying to laboriously get it all correct on the first shot. Okay. Uh, hit the letter P on your keyboard, enable the pen tool. And just trust me on this, we're just going to rough this in. There, we're not going to make any, uh, it's not clicking, holding, dragging, it's just click, let go. Okay, so come to a corner, the top corner here, I guess you could call it a corner. Click and let go. Okay, I'm not holding the mouse. Come to the next point. Click, let go. Click, let go. Okay, so like, I'm just roughing this in. I'm going to each uh, point on the lightning bolt and I'm just roughing it in. Click, let go, click, let go. Not, I'm not making any curves at all. And then I'm going to come back to my first anchor point, hover over it, make sure it's enclosed, and click. Okay, so I got this uh, jagged shape here. And let me just, you don't have to do, do this, but I want to show you um, that that's what I have. Okay. I turned off the eyeball on the image just so you could see. Looks pretty terrible. Um, so let me put the image back on. So how are we going to get these nice curves? We're going to use the anchor point tool. It's the hotkey is shift C, or you can come over here, hit the drop down menu and choose anchor point tool. And as I said before, uh, in an earlier series, the anchor point tool will change its sharp corner into a curve and it changes curves into sharp corners. So up here is a pretty nice curve here. Um, let's hover over this top anchor point. And now this is where take your time, go slow and deliver it and command Z or control Z if you mess up. So I'm coming over this anchor point, I'm clicking and holding, taking my time, drag. Okay. So now see like this is a good I messed up and it's it's a good teaching moment. So I'm dragging, you see like that, that curly cue there? I inadvertently uh, twisted the line. So all I have to do is just take my time and make sure that the curve is nice and uh, it's not twisted. 
Okay, so I'm not going to get this perfect on the first shot. So what I'm looking at, I'm just looking over here at this curve here to see if I can get that kind of close. And I'm really not worried about anything else. So, okay, let me, that's close enough. Let me let go. Now let me like just show you this. This isn't good enough. Um, it's not following the artwork enough, but we can come back and we can edit that. Now we still have the anchor point tool uh, enabled and this like little bird beak um, cursor. So remember the cool, th one of the other cool thing about the anchor point tool is I can grab handles and I can edit one side of the curve. So like this is working out really well. So I can grab this, this handle with the anchor point tool. And now this, this looks pretty good. Okay. This, this is acceptable. Um, we'll worry about this later. All right. So now let's, let's just take a look here. Okay. This is nice curve, nice curve. This is a pretty sharp edge. This is cool. This is all right. You can just leave that a sharp edge. Then we come down to here. Okay. This is looking good. This looks terrible. All right. So <clears throat> anchor point tool to the rescue hover over this anchor point. Now this is a little bit tricky. This is, there's going to a new skill set. I'm going to show you here. So, so pay attention here. Hovering over this anchor point, click, hold, drag. I'm going very, very nice and slow and deliberate. And I'm fixing that bottom curve first. Okay. So I'm looking at the long curve to the lower left on your screen there. So let me let that go. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Now look at this disaster. All right. Now here's another nice thing you can do with the anchor point tool. I can just, I can click once on an, on a handle and I can uh, snip it off. So, okay. So I got this messed up curve. This is beautiful with the anchor point tool hovering over this handle. I'm just going to click once and let go, click, let go. And it cuts that uh, that edge of the curve. So like now, this is like a really a powerful tool. So get used to using it. Let's do the same thing on this curve. And then I'm going to let you uh, figure out the rest of this on your own here. So let's come down here. It's the same kind of thing. We got this like nice sharp curve. Um, this is sharp and then it's curved. Okay, so hovering over this anchor point, click hold nice and slow. Whoops. I went the wrong way. So I'm just going to like mess around with my handle until I get it kind of sort of close and it's not going to be perfect. All right at all. Okay. Now this is awful. It's not going to cut it. Okay. And of course this, you know, that's not going to work either. Okay. So now this chunk of the curve, we can rectify that just like we did before. We're going to come up to this handle, click and snip it off. There you go. Now, um, what about this? This isn't good. Uh, I don't know if I can, yeah, I can still use the same tool. You could use the direct select tool here. Um, that's closer. And then I'm going to have to grab this guy and I'm going to have to do that. So that's, that's looking good. Now, like now I'm going to have to like grab this and I'm intentionally kind of like going fast right now because I want you to like hack, hack through this yourself and try to figure out how to do the rest of this. Um, for the purposes of this, uh, exercise, what I'm showing you here is, is, is acceptable. That's fine. If you want to enable the white arrow, the direct select tool, you can further refine and, uh, this is a little bit tricky. Spoke too soon. Uh, I got, the, I, there's a, there's a preference in here that I have like snapped, uh, which I'm not going to get into right now, the snap settings, but you can, um, if in the event, like you lose the selection, and you don't know where anything is, you can always enable the direct select tool and uh, find where your anchor points are and then do a shift C and enable the, the, uh, 
anchor point tool. So uh, rewind the video, take a look at this, and I, I'm not going to complete this lightning bolt in the uh, in this video because I want you to like hack through this and figure out yourself. One thing I do want you to do once you get this set to where you want it, um, come over to the stroke and fill settings and uh, swap the stroke and fill so it's a nice solid black. So let me zoom out here. This again, this lightning bolt isn't done. Okay, so don't use this as a grading criteria. Okay, but I want two solid black objects, nice and clean. And uh, that's that's about it. I think uh, you know enough to finish this exercise. Uh, so good luck. What you'll be uploading is the AI file this time. Okay, upload the the .ai file, not a PDF.